Hello everybody and welcome to this, a uh, well, bit of a disappointing at Thomas video really. I had hoped to have done a video for you today that I've been planning for a couple of weeks. Now, um, this will probably go, This hopefully the video will be finished being um, edited and everything, hopefully by next week, but um, if not, it will be over the next couple of weeks anyway. And, first of all, I, I suppose I'll probably explain, really. Right, so, um, f some of you probably already know, I'm quite a big fan of snooker. I enjoy watching snooker, I enjoy playing snooker. Granted, I'm not very good at it, but I enjoy playing it. And, <clears throat> last, um, whenever I've been to see snooker live, um, obviously... I myself don't particularly, I don't, I don't like listening to the commentary <coughs> myself, but obviously you listen to it when, if you're watching it on TV, which I was doing last Sunday. Obviously last Sunday was Remembrance Sunday, the anniversary of the Armistice of the First World War, but also it was the final here in Coventry of the uh, Champion of Champions snooker and um, it was a great brilliant great game but what I thought I would do is actually I've um, at the moment I've recorded all of that match I'm editing it down so um, I can use it as a pretty much seamless um, video down to which there's no breaks or any interviews between um, presenters on, the, you know, elsewhere and all that sort of stuff and talking about other games. <clears throat> but I just thought, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my own commentary of that match. Because it's something I've often want, wanted to do. I've, like I say, I've been, I always enjoy snooker, I enjoy watching snooker. And I just thought, hey, how hard can it be? to um, talk about something that I enjoy. And so, um, I know for a fact, obviously, Ronnie was playing against um, Wil uh, Wilson, and he was, it was a great, great match. It really, you know, obviously, it took the full 19 frames to do, to decide the match. So I thought it was, a, and obviously being in my own home town, I thought, why not? It would be a perfect opportunity to have a go. So, like I say, um, I'm just waiting for everything to be um, f complete, you know, f I finish the, um, need to finish the commentary track for it, and then my plan is to obviously sync the two things up and then get it up, ho either hopefully sometime this week or maybe next Sunday, but fingers crossed it will be coming up very, very soon. So please keep an eye out for that if you're interested. Uh, like I say, it's uh, it's it's a couple of hours. It's about five hours, and it's going to be a long one. But um, I just thought it's something that I've wanted to do, and this channel is about stuff that I wanted to do, and I just you know it's what I want to do. It's something that I hopefully might be able to um, find out that I'm actually quite. If I'm any good at it, I could uh, maybe have another go at doing other other snooker games as well. And just, who knows, it probably, it, anyway, like I say, it'll be a good laugh. And I'm sure if you guys like to listen to uh, my podcast that I do with a good friend of mine, a good friend of mine, Andrew, um, it may be something a bit like, well, not a, a bit like that with the, uh, a bit of humour thrown in. Anyway, so... Going on to the second point of this video, if you guys have watched or listened to any of my podcast, which is called Earth Orange, the uh, if you go to the playlist of podcast on my channel, you will find all of the all the all of the episodes we've done so far. It's really enjoyable. Um, obviously, being a bit biased, I really enjoy doing it. Um, it's it's a bit a bit of an opportunity for two people that enjoy talking about comics and superheroes just to be able to kind of create our own little world 
and have a good laugh with it. And the responses that we've been having has been really positive. So if you haven't watched it, please go have a listen. It's it's never to be taken any, any too seriously. It's just a good laugh. It's like I say, it's two friends doing what we do anyway. We talk, we normally talk about this anyway when we when, if we meet up at work or outside of work. So I just thought it might be it obviously it could have been something that we uh, could have done. And so, like I said, it seems to have gone down reasonably well with people that have been listening to it. So, yeah, definitely, if you want to, go and have a listen to that. Thirdly, <laughs> um, you might have remembered a couple of, I think it was a couple of years ago now, I did a video about the Up documentaries. Now, um, just to give you a bit of a, a download on what that is, basically, the Up documentary is since 1964 yeah 1964 I think since 1964 um, this production company have gone and spoken to the same group of people every seven years since 1964 so since they were seven years of age to now they go back and talk to them just to see how the last seven years has treated them what they want from the next seven years and everything like that. Um, 2019 is the next year it's going to be shown and so what I thought I was going to do is I'm going to go and um, talk about my favourite, I can't, I, I can't call them characters because they're not characters, they're real people, the f my favourite people that are involved in this series documentary series and look at how over all of that time so since 1964 up to the last one which was 2012 how things have changed for them and how their lives have um, altered and everything like that um so hopefully sometime before christmas i'll have the first one of those out for you and that will be a bit more interesting for you and like i say if you if you want to know a little bit more about it, obviously you can either wait for those episodes to be put out, or you can go and go back to the video that I did a couple of years ago. Um, I would suggest that you do because I give you a bit of an, a, a, a bit of a rough outline of what what it is, and it's like I say, it's it's quite interesting to see how obviously you see them from their seven year old selves right up to now, and it's it's remarkable when you see. Obviously, the dreams they had when they were children, or even when they were in their twenties, to now, and their outlooks—it's—it's it's, it's wonderful, and it's really—it—it—it it, it makes you make it does make you go out there and think about your own life, which I I I really like. So it's great. I think it's a great sort of thing to be and watch. So yeah, definitely. Now, finally, the last thing I want to talk to you about is. Obviously, one of the few things that I've done on this channel that has been quite successful um, has been my kind of like TV slash movie reviews that I do, particularly of Only Fools and Horses, I'm not going to lie. There's a lot of those. And a few of I'll be the same pet. Um, in the new year, I will be bringing both of those back uh, because they've had a bit of a break because... Um, not down to the fact that I've... Um, haven't, you know, it's just down to the fact that I thought the... the I've done quite a few of those and I thought I'd give them a bit of a break and try different things. And also I'm going to try and bring back my um, my Game of Thrones videos that I did with um, the maps behind me and everything like that. And I'll see if I can um, get those back up and running because they were, they were fun. I enjoyed doing the research for them. I enjoyed getting it, all the editing and everything like that out of the way and doing everything like that because it was... Even though the videos may only be like 15 minutes long or whatever they may have been, it was down to the fact that it was it was worthwhile because I know for a fact that it was I was putting not only all my time and effort into researching it and getting all the shots done and all that sort of stuff, I I felt anyway that I was teaching some people out there about some characters. Um, so yeah, that's what my that's what my plans are. Um, like I say, these are this is what I want to do over the the next couple of 
weeks and months. Um, but, um, so, like I say, a um, bit of a roundup. So, you've got go back and watch and listen to my podcast if you want. The next one will be up tomorrow. Um, new game, well, hopefully, new Game of Thrones styled videos. Um, only Fools and Horses and that I'll be the same pet. Hopefully, be coming back either before or after New Year. And yeah, and of course, up documentary. Um, I'm really looking forward to doing those again because there's about three or four people in that in that I think have their 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 journeys that they've charted has been so so unique and so interesting that it's really opened my eyes and then of course the um, snooker commentary track which fingers crossed it should be nearly finished um, like I say I just need to just need to finish off um, kind of working the, um, the actual commentary itself with the with the video and then li editing it all together and that will be perfect and I like I say Hopefully that will either be sometime this week or next Sunday. Um, yeah, so definitely. Like I say, thank you very much for watching this video. I know it's been a bit of a mishmash of everything because it's... I had hoped to have got that video up for you today, but unfortunately that hasn't really happened, which I'm disappointed about because I've been trying to do this all week, but it's been one of those really stressful weeks and everything's just been... Basically, every time I've sat down and tried to edit give it about two, you know, maybe 30 minutes to an hour, then something pops up that I need to go away and deal with. So, anyway, um, like I say, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy all these announcements. I hope you, when they finally come to happen, I hope you enjoy those videos. I hope you have a wonderful week. If you like, you can become one of my patrons. You can even like, subscribe, and leave a comment on this video. Um, if you have any suggestions yourself, please um, send them down. And particularly, actually, before I forget, if you have any ideas for particular characters that you would like me to talk about in my Game of Thrones videos, please um, uh, suggest them to me. It would be really nice and it would give me a few more ideas because obviously there's obviously characters, main characters from the books and the TV shows that I can very easily do, but... Obviously, I know for a fact there's a load more people out there that probably a, li a lot more interesting to you than they are to me. So we can learn together. And like I say, at the end of each and all of my videos, I'll give you a little salute and say goodbye. Goodbye.